in the last video we have seen how to create a footprint for a through a register right in this video i will show you how to create a footprint for an smd register so let's get started unlike uh, through a registers smd registers has some predefined packages as you can see in the screen now so using this data we can create footprints so i am in registergate.com and the link for this is here so you can refer this uh, website and uh, design footprints for your SMD registers. So I'm going to pick 0805 package and show you how to create a footprint for this type of register. So let's go to Depress Launcher and click on Pattern Editor. It will give you the window here. So next just click on New and create a new library for SMD registers. So in the last video we have created a separate resist, uh, I mean uh, library for uh, through a register right so just create an another separate library for assembly registers it will be easy for you to browse through the library so click on ok and I'm going to name this as 0805 and refdesk will be R so next we need to create an assembly pad first so just click on the place pad option here and place it on the screen and click on properties type and dimensions click on pattern pads change the type as surface mount and the shape will be rectangle right so next is to refer the data here so for 0805 the pad length i mean a is 1.3 mm right so make sure you have the units in mm and I am going to give 1.3 as the height and the width of the pad will be B here that is 0, 0.0 I mean 0 0.7 mm and again I am going to give this as 0.7 mm so through all I mean assembly resistors did not need any holes I am just clicking OK here and click on OK again so now the pad will be changed into a SMD pad so just move the pad near the axis so as I shown in the last video you can directly place the pad in the axis and paste the second pad based on the uh, spacing between these pads this is one method but there is also a simple method that you can make use of like just clicking on the style here click on lines and the number of lines will be 1 number of pads will be 2 right so like you can see the register as 2 assembly pads right so you can see the pad spacing as 2.54 here right so the line spacing is not okay since we have only one line so here the spacing between the pads as given as C not the pitch we need to have a pitch to give the data here in this field I mean pad spacing is 2.54 is given here but in this data only C is given so we can calculate by adding half of this pad width and half of this pad width I mean both of these pads so it will give you 0 0.7 as the whole width so I'm going to add the pad spacing with uh, pad width so that will give you the pad spacing is 1.2 here plus half of this pad and half of this pad width which will give you 0.7 right I'm going to click on equal to it will give you 1.9 so just go to the tool and change the value as 1.9 here so the pad is designed now so let's get go and check with the, the spacing between pad is 1.2 again so just click on this and measure whether it has the spacing as 1.2 yes the spacing is correct 1.2 is the value here so next you have to do, draw the sill screen and the assembly layer so sill screen is basically the white color lines you see in the window circuit boards so assembly layer is also has to be uh, 
drawn in the footprint since it will be useful for the uh, people who are working on you know soldering the component in the board all right for that just go to the data here again so as you can see the the outer lines represent the resistor which will be soldered on the uh, pattern here I mean the footprint here but the data is not given here but if you refer the respective data sheet of the resistor you are going to use in your design you can have this assembly data as well so you can directly go and choose this rectangle and select that layer as top assembly and you know draw the rectangle over here right the silk screen should not be uh, drawn over the pads the silk screen should be either drawn outside the uh, pads or inside this pad all right so this is pretty simple right so hope you have got the basic idea of creating a footprint for an SMD resistor if you have any doubts in this video just go ahead and ask the doubts in the learn pcb design facebook group and always happy to help you Bye-bye.